So this little guy has become one of the most important household machines these days. And most of you might have guessed it correct. Yes, this is a pulse oximeter. It's a machine that measures the oxygen level of your blood. Same like a thermometer, which measures the temperature of your body. Now, how does this work? So once you've put your finger inside the pulse oximeter, you'll get two readings. One reading will tell you the SpO2 in percentage, which is the oxygen saturation level of your blood. And the second is your pulse rate, that is your heartbeat. Oxygen levels are something that we are worried about. 95 to 100 is normally the normal oxygen saturation one might have. Now, what do you do if the oxygen saturation falls low? How do you know? Are you really hypoxic, which means you have less oxygen in your blood? Or is it a false reading or the machine is faulty? Here are some tips. The first tip is wait and stay steady for at least 30 seconds before you finalize your reading and only then panic. In case of 30 seconds, if you still feel that your reading is low, the second thing you need to do is remove the machine and check it on someone else's finger. If that comes out to be normal, then you know clearly that it is only you who have low oxygen levels and it's not the fault of the machine. Third is make sure that the finger you've put inside does not have nail polish, mehendi or some form of tattoo because this might sometimes hamper with the projection of your saturation levels. Fourth, if you're having fever and shivering and your hand is not stable, the reading might not be correct. Also, don't check the reading while running around. Fifth, if you have a low reading, take a walk. See whether your hypoxia increases or decreases. If your hypoxia decreases, that means the machine is not working properly and you were not having low oxygen saturation in the first place itself. Last important point is, don't try to check the oxygen level of your children, your mother, your father, your grandparents when they are sleeping. Oxygen levels might naturally decrease in older obese patients with sleep apnea in the night. Also, there are many conditions in which your oxygen saturation might be low from the beginning, such as asthma, COPD, chronic smokers, etc. Any reading below 94 is an alarm. It means that probably you're suffering from pneumonia and the infection has spread to your lung. In those cases, the first thing you need to do is lie down in the prone position, that is your belly down, and keep the pulse oximeter on, might be that your oxygen will increase. Then, inform a doctor and don't panic. Probably, because of your vigilance, you've caught these symptoms early and you'll be started on the right treatment. This pulse oximeter these days has helped hundreds of people with COVID in timely diagnosis and timely intervention with medicines. If used correctly, it will not create panic and be life.